Welcome. Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where I will be diving in to current events, those burning vampire questions, and giving life advice, all from the undead perspective. Today's current event is a two-headliner. First one says, the U.S., Begin study on allergic reaction risk in Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. But then another headline says the White House says over 28 million COVID-19 vaccine doses will be available this week. There seems to be a bit of a disconnect. Of course, I'm no medicinal expert, but it seems that the, the allergic reaction study should be done sometime before 28 million more doses go out. So either the study is very late or rolling out so many doses is a bit early. Either way, is it really that bad that you need to do this without proper study? I don't know. I haven't paid much attention except that there's a bunch of hysteria because I am, after all, a reanimated corpse. So I don't have to worry about getting the COVID. I don't, so I don't have to worry about the vaccine. And I'm not registered anywhere as a living person. But it seems, it seems to me that logic would dictate these studies should be done before so many doses are rolled out. Who knows, maybe those 28 million don't include these brands of vaccines. I don't know. But it seems to be an odd juxtaposition of headlines. Today's question is kind of a unique one. What about coming out to your family, especially if they don't approve? Well, this kind of seems to be equating being a vampire with being homosexual. I don't know anyone that would approve of their loved ones being a vampire. You are, after all, a demon inhabiting a corpse, feeding on other humans for their blood. You don't come out to your family. You usually just use them as your first victims because they're readily available and they trust you. So you can usually stalk them and kill them quite easily. So as far as coming out to your family is concerned, usually that's just a slaughtering and much, not much more than that. Today's life advice Again, from Yahoo Answers, and again, completely anonymous. Why do so many women not want to get jobs? Well, here's a one that here's a question that I would counter with, which might just bake your noodle. Why do you want a job at all? Why does anyone want a job? You want a job because you want money, right? And there is also the provider thing, the finding your place in the world thing. Uh, if a woman is a mother full time, that is a job. If she decides to be a stay at home wife and just take care of the house, that is a full time job. So you can't really get away with not doing anything unless you're some kind of heiress or heir. And even then you have to find something to fill your time. But the real question is, why does it matter if someone wants a job or not? Why does it matter if someone has a job or not? It's their life. You stay on your track, they stay on theirs. I don't know too many people that actually want to have a job, except to have money. They would rather have hobbies that they like and do things that they like. They just haven't thought of that because they're too busy with a job. So maybe you should look at yourself and wonder if you want a job and if you're just projecting it 
onto all these poor women who know enough to know that they don't want to be there. That is it for today's show. If you would like me to answer your question or give you some life advice from the perspective of the undead, please comment that below, and I will get to it at some time. Like, share, and subscribe my videos and my channel. Spread me around. Make me go viral. Check out the links in the description. My Amazon has my two books that I've written and the book by The Tool, which is about me. Check them out. And I will talk to you later.